Dear Simpi Wengema, you've been through the worst years of your life and you've conquered. Now, it's time to experience your best days. Let the sun shine in your face because joy comes in the morning. Become the sun. Greetings and welcome to my own kind of beautiful. I'm your host, Millicent Mashile. Indeed, there is a God in heaven. He wiped away my tears and gave me joy in abundance. You've brought hope and purpose in my life. I will forever be grateful to you for this beautiful gift and for teaching me how to love again. Mm. These were the words of our beautiful guest today, which she shared on her Instagram page. It's none other than the beautiful, extraordinary woman, actress, mother, singer, TV personality, Simpi Wengema. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. You look absolutely gorgeous. Girl, you. <laughs> you know, I used to watch you on TV, ne? It's about this girl, like, oh, she's gorgeous. My goodness, and when I met you in person, it was just like, wow. So thank you so much for coming over. It's a pleasure. <laughs> thank you for having me. Awesome. Tell us about Usimpu and Gemma, where she grew up and how your childhood was. Hmm. I was born in Soweto, Klepsbrate Extension 2. Um, I'm from a family of three. I've got an older sister okay. and a younger sister. And I have a niece and nephew. <laughs> and I come from a very close family. So yeah. um, the age difference between my sisters mm. is not big. So they are literally my best friends. So mm. childhood was really, really fun. Yeah. yeah. And television, how did that come about? Did you always know you wanted to be on television? Did you want to be an actress? Definitely. I've always known yeah. that I'm a performer from a very young age. I mean, mm. I think from the moment I could speak, I was already singing. <laughs> you know? So um, I've always known that I, I have the talent and it's something that I'm passionate about. Mm. Um, performance as a whole, dancing, playing instruments, singing, mm. acting, all of that. And I knew that... I'm going to end up where I am today. <laughs> <laughs> and you sing as well. I mean, we know you as an actor, right? Yeah. And then how I see you sing. I'm like, where has this talent been? <laughs> you know, girl, girl you should be doing. You have <laughs> taken them off. <all. laughs> it's always been there. Um, you know, I believe that when God gives you talents, you need to use them to the best of your ability because Absolutely. you don't know which one he needs you for. Mm. Um, so for me, it's about exploring every talent that I have. Yeah. And just using it as best and as I can. you're definitely doing that. And you're definitely doing yeah. that. Let's talk about the song that you wrote um, for your late husband, mm -hmm. Indumi. I mean, that song just celebrates the love that you guys shared, yes. right? What was the importance for you to focus on celebrating his life and your love, other than just focusing just on the grief? Um, for me, it was important to remember the love mm -hmm. and not the loss. Mm -hmm. Because when you, when you remember the loss, you become so depressed and you forget about the beautiful moments. Mm. And yet, when you think about the beautiful moments, they get you out of that depression. Mm. Yeah. Wow. And I mean, because people might think, uh, you know what, uh, this is not the way to grieve. I mean, looking at social media and how people react, you know, they've just always just had their own comments about this is how you need to grieve, especially being a young widow. They have mm. their own opinions. This is how it needs to be done and simply is not doing it right. What is your opinion with regards to what people are perceiving you as? Girl, once you've been through what I've been through, yeah. um, they don't exist. Mm. I live for me because yeah. at the end of the day, it's my life. I know how I feel. Yeah. And I always tell people that with grief, there are no rules. Mm. Um, you can't tell somebody that you can only grieve for this long because you don't know what they're going through. Yeah. You know? So for me, it's, it, it's, been, it's been a journey and I've decided to feel what I feel when I feel it. Mm. If I if I feel yeah. like I want to cry today, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. You know, if I feel like posting about do me, that's what I'm going to do. But I've let myself go through it because it's something that you can't get over or under. You need to go through it. Mm. And now you've just announced that you're a mother. Yes, <laughs> I'm a mother. <laughs> and I'm like, <laughs> what? <laughs> you've always been 
a mother though. You've just been that girl. I have. I just hadn't given birth, but I've exactly. always been a mother. And when you announced that, I mean, I was so happy, and I think you know everybody just went crazy because yeah. we we're all just so happy for you, and you ju you just fitted so well. You know, how yeah. was that for you? Just walking into this new shoes of being a mom. Oh, it's been a beautiful experience yeah. and you know, I kept it from the public because I wanted to be my experience mm. because so much of us is exposed that we don't get to keep those little experiences to ourselves. Yeah. You know? So for me, oh, it was really tough keeping it <laughs> for so long until I actually, I think it was two months when yeah. we announced um, wow. that I'm a mom, um, but it, it's been it, almost, it, it felt like God remembered me, mm. you know, after everything that I've been through, God was like, I'm going to wipe your tears away and I'm going to, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you what joy is. I'm going to remind you what love is and I'm going to remind you that you are worthy of being happy again. Mm -hmm. Now your baby is a true blessing. Hey, yeah. it's a true blessing. Tell us about your partner and moving on. You know, and mm. I know a lot of people have, you know, this perception. Which, okay, you're supposed to be a widow forever. Mm. You know, because mm. you just broke stereotypes. You did like what you did was so big in terms of changing the narrative and changing women and them being free and not being bound by societal expectations. Mm. So how was it for you taking the decision? Which you know what, I'm moving on and this is this is it take it or leave it yeah so with grief you don't necessarily move on from grief mm. you move forward you take one Yo. step forward every day um it's something that you can't get rid of i i can't wake up one day and forget to me he existed mm. in my life he was yes. a part of my life and i've just learned to carry the burden better you know when mm. when you start your journey of grief mm. it's so difficult you know you feel mm. like you're not strong enough but as you move forward you learn to carry the burden better because you mm. become stronger and you know I, I I have events of young widows where we just sit and talk mm. and I, th I would say most of them inspired me to move forward because yeah. As a young widow, you feel like, oh my gosh, do, I don't deserve to be happy again. Mm. You know, why am I laughing? Why am I smiling? You know, it's little things like that. So for me, I had to make the decision. Dumi's not coming back. But that doesn't mean I shouldn't be happy. Mm. And me moving forward doesn't mean I've forgotten him. It's impossible yeah. to forget him. Yeah. You know, it just means... I am strong enough and brave enough to love again mm. because also opening my heart again was the most difficult thing ever because I still have my fears you know I mm. still think oh my gosh what if I lose this partner Yo, but because, how do you deal with those fears because that's another thing that yeah, people don't talk about yeah when you experience something that traumatic you think it's gonna happen again yes. because you can identify with the feeling yes. of love and then there's this thing at the back of your and head and that's why i say moving forward is bravery because yeah. it's not that you're not fearful the fear is there but you've chosen to live yeah because i've learned that nothing in life is permanent not even life itself come on girl so you need to live mm. for yourself do what makes you happy Mm, 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 mm. And what makes you happy is being a mom. Yes. What are some of the lessons that you want to teach your son? To live for himself. That's the most yeah. important thing. Make sure that you are happy with all the, the decisions that you make. Yeah. You know, and forget about everybody else. Forget about just be in your own lane and live for you and live your truth. Whether your truth mm. is... I am happy or whether your truth is I am sad, whether your truth is I've lost a house, I've lost a job or whether your truth is I've just won the lottery. Mm. You have to live your truth because there is so much freedom in living your truth. 
exactly said it there's just so much freedom in that mm -hmm. and i hope a lot of women feel that and a lot of people feel that now you have found your own kind of beautiful for everybody that follows you knows that you are that girl you are content in who you are you're living your <laughs> life especially being in the industry there's there's almost in teen, man. There's almost a way that people live their lives and the way people do things. But where Nanja, you just seem pretty simple. You yes. are just so unique and so, you know, different. You know, so for women out there who are saying, listen, I am not as brave as you. I don't think I have the strength. I don't know how you did it. Please just encourage me. You know, where can I draw strength from? I need to advise those women on that camera over there. You need to live your life, number one. Um, no matter what you do in life, people are always going to judge you. Whether you think what you're doing is right or wrong, they're always going to judge you. For example, three months after I lost my husband, people were like, get over it. You yeah. need to get over it. And three years later, they say you've moved on too quickly. <laughs> yeah. So for me, I've had to live my life as best as I can and I am happy so for as long as you're happy with the decisions that you have made nothing else matters job smack job smack <laughs> <laughs> how did you find your own kind of beautiful sure I think finding myself and learning who I am and what I'm capable of um, mm -hmm. that's what the challenges that I've faced in my life have taught me they've taught me that I'm a perfectionist Yes. Whether I'm going through the worst or the best. Yeah. Um, I remember planning my husband's funeral. Yo. I was still a perfectionist. <laughs> You're like, it's going to be done right. Like, you need to get it right. <laughs> okay, we'll cry later. Just Let's pause. do this right. <laughs> we need to make, because this is his last send off. Yeah. You know, I, I, I couldn't redo it again. It had to be perfect, mm. you know. So for me, I learned that it doesn't matter what I'm going through. It mm. doesn't matter what situation I'm in. I'm yeah. always going to be a perfectionist. Mm. Yeah. Hey, you're yeah, a perfectionist and I love that. <laughs> I want to give you a gift, but firstly, I wanted to ask you a question earlier on our course, right? Nick? Yes. How do you hide a pregnancy when you're in the public <laughs> eye? Do you not go to malls? <laughs> no, guys, you have to understand. <laughs> these days, journalists are so lazy. We feed them ah, the information. right? Honestly. Cut and paste. I didn't, it wasn't anything <laughs> private or whatever. I just didn't post it. I still okay. went to the shop. But what I still you had the advantage the of lockdown though. Lockdown was like the last two months of my pregnancy. It was yeah. literally the last two months of my That's pregnancy. Way. I went to the shop, I went everywhere. I just didn't post it. That's it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> she just didn't post. I didn't give you this gift, right? This cushion is very special because we've put um, a picture on it of a lady that really, really, really inspires us. Um, and I hope that she inspires you as well. She is absolutely gorgeous inside and outside. She's found her own kind of beautiful. And I hope she inspires you as much as she inspires us. Oh, Isa. Oh, this is so sweet. How oh, gorgeous is so she much. though? Guys, I love it. <laughs> Oh, Never. thank you. Thank you so much. This is beautiful. Very beautiful. Thank That's you. That's gorgeous. You know, the name of the show is My Own Kind of Beautiful. And we felt that you have found your own kind of beautiful and that your story can inspire so many. And every move that you make is not just about Usin Piwe. You know, you, you give strength, you give hope to so many. And I just enjoy watching you. I think you're an incredible woman. May God continue to bless you and your beautiful little family. Amen and amen and amen. Yes. <laughs> Grief is something all of us experience, and yet it is not a topic that is spoken about much. Our beautiful guest today, Simpiwe Ngema, has been open about her journey through her grief. Simpiwe is a good example that there is indeed light after dark. Thank you so much for coming through and sharing your story. We love you so much. This has been my own kind of beautiful, and thank you, of course, for watching. I'm Melissa Mashile. Until next time, it's goodbye.